What is up guys, welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Okay, so we left off that we're in the depths, we got the first uh, bonfire there. I think that's the only bonfire there. We restored our humanity. I did that for a purpose, you'll see soon. And then after that, we'll just see if we missed anything here, and then go to the boss fight. So, I don't know exactly how it works, but like, um, you saw how those boxes were broken already? It's like, some stuff stays broken, I think, but other things do not. Like, you know, um, you know what I'm talking about? Like, there were other boxes, um, throughout the, like, level. Okay, locked, so yeah, we don't have the key yet. Hi, Shamai, and good day to you. I'm Donald of Xena. I'm just a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Hmm, I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Hmm, I'm afraid I don't... Oh, okay, so this is where we get the gold pine resin. Okay, I was wondering where we could buy that from. Okay, so yeah, he sells some crystal weapons. We'll be seeing more of these later. Um, yeah, some random stuff here. But also his armor. He sells his own armor set. Um, they're like, alright, I think. But, you know, we're not going to need any of this. But, anyway, pretty cool looking. And pretty expensive. But yeah, we talked to him now, and he's gonna move later, so we'll see this guy again. Well, that is a shame, but no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. Alright, great. Okay, yeah, so this is, um, that's where the boss is. Okay, we were there before. We just picked up an item there, I think. Um, what we're gonna do is, oh, I'm looking for the other doorway. There's a big rat. Oh no, I'm getting stun locked. You know what, I think we got everything here. Like, I don't think we really missed any, um, direction to go in. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is what I want to show you. So this is our first invader. Yeah, so basically his armor is pretty cool. You saw he rolled towards us. He does damage to us when he rolls because of his armor. has thorns on it. Pretty cool. Oh, shit. Not putting up too much of a fight here. But he's a really cool um, character, in my opinion. Alright, got him. So yeah, our first NPC invader. We will see more of him again. Okay, so see, we got um, we got 7,000 right there. So now we can retrieve remaining power of Dark Spirit or pick up item. So we're going to retrieve the remaining power. So we basically got humanity. See the top left, we got one. Uh, and he drops his shield. So the spike shield. Let's look at that. I think it's a small shield. Let's see. No, it's not. It's like a medium shield, let's see. Yeah. Spike shield. Shield of the infamous Dark Wraith Kirk, Knight of Thorns. Covered with spikes, can be used as a weapon. Sharp spikes cause heavy bleeding. 
So yeah, I'm not sure if you could parry with this. I think, like I said, you could just use it as a weapon. I don't know. Or that might be if it's equipped in the right hand. So, okay. So basically we did that. We got, um... So if you're wondering why he gave us, like, that exact amount of souls... First of all, I think that, um... We got the bonus. We got, the, like, the soul bonus involved in there. But, um... Other than that... The way, like, the soul gain works with invaders is like it's like some percent or something of their last or it's like the level up cost of their last level up you know what i mean so if they're like level 10 it's like what the cost was to become level 10 i don't know but oh yeah we have to go fight the big rat okay hold on i'll show you how we get there we were there before but we can jump on his head which i like to do So let's rest for a moment. Let's see if we can level up. Oh, we can kindle this bonfire too, but... Um, I don't know. We might not need to. Let's keep the humanity for now. So, yeah, we can level up. I don't know. You cannot go wrong with endurance, really. But I don't know. Alright, we'll get that. Alright, so... We'll go... That's what we missed. Yeah, we definitely missed... Um, there's an item we can get. You'll see. But, yeah, we'll go to where the rat is. And then we'll go fight the boss. And then we should be done with this area. Oh, we could see also if that dog responds. Because I think the one near the butcher doesn't. Let's see. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, it's the only one dog right here. Yeah, and also see the table remains broken. See what I'm saying? Like, but I think don't like barrels and stuff reset. I don't know. That's odd. I'm I'm gonna keep an eye out. But yeah, so there was a dog here. But yeah, I don't know why he doesn't respawn, but he doesn't. Let's go down here now. So yeah, um, we didn't drop down here before, although we could have. I just didn't want to yet. So yeah, we can drop on the rat from here. What we're going to get here is just a shield. Um, we're going to get it just to show you, but um, it's a spider shield. And it's not even that good, but it does give us resistance to poison, I think. Like, extra resistance. Let's see. Oh, we already had one. I don't know where we picked that up, but we already had one. So yeah. Has resistance to poison. I don't think they show that on the screen here, but okay. Alright, so I'm going to try not to use Estus, but... Oh, we got a unique animation. I didn't know that was on this rat. Wow, that was so cool. Oh, shit. Alright, that's awesome. I never saw that. So yeah, some enemies, like I said, they have a unique um, animation for when you land on their head doing an attack. That was awesome. Okay, I got him. So that's a mini boss. They do not respawn. That rat. Oh, we got one humanity. Nice. And we were basically on the other side of this already. Um, that's the other side where the ladder is. I don't know which way is quicker. We're just going this way, so. Oh, can we even climb up from here? I don't know. Oh, but, um, by the way, I'm also keeping the humanity on me, not only to save it, but it does give us extra... Nah, we're gonna have to go a long way. It does give us extra, um, curse resist. So, you saw how the curse bar was so, like, small before? Oh, shit. Um, you might see it now. 
Yeah, see this? So, it's so short because it's uh, it kind of scales with humanity or whatever. It's like reliant on how many humanity you're holding. Oh no. I think that's this guy, uh, like this enemy's only attack. And they can jump like that, yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah, so I'm a little nervous with no HP on there. Alright, yeah, so I have death. That's the only item they drop, I think. Let's we'll see if we can make this. Um, Cause I'm trying not to heal because we have six. I don't know. Let's just run. All right, you know what? We gotta use the homer bomb. Cause I don't want to have to run through the whole board. I forgot where to go. Oh, I think we can level up again. Yeah, okay. Alright, great. So, we'll get even more endurance. That's great. So, yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, you know, what we could have put on there was um, that ring I showed you before that we got. The um, Ring of the Evil Eye. Because with that... Um, oh, see? The barrel's reset now. See that? Okay, so I think the furniture or whatever resets when you rest at the bonfire, but... I did rest out the vampire before. Oh no, maybe when you die. But I didn't die. But maybe it's like using a homeward bone is like similar to reloading the area. I don't know how that works. Oh, but I, I didn't want to drink the Estus because we have six. And that's over the amount of, like, five that um, the bonfire would give us, you know what I mean? So I wanted to keep it for this boss fight. If that makes sense. Also, we can summon, yeah, we can summon Solaire here. I think we can summon Law Trek too. Oh, an item. Oh, yeah, summon signs right here. And if you see. See how his summon sign is white? Solaire's is a more golden color because of his covenant. He's part of the Warriors of Sunlight covenant. Alright, so yeah, pretty cool looking. Um, this is the Gaping Dragon. Let's go get that item first. So, you remember in the Gargoyle... Okay, did not mean to do that. You remember in the Gargoyle fight... Um, oh, I think that's the... Uh, I don't know what set that is. We'll look at it later. But um, you know how in the Gargoyle fight we um, cut the tail off and we got a weapon? You can do the same thing here. Oh, let's see if he's resistant to magic. So we did 64 damage. Let's see. And this boss is not that hard to dodge. Oh, also I think we do extra damage to his head. I'm not sure. And yeah, he gets tired after moving like this. Oh my gosh, one hit kill? Come on, bro. 
I mean, at least we didn't waste the SS, but... Okay. But anyway, so if we cut his tail off, we'll get a unique weapon, like we do with the gargoyles, but also, he won't be able to use that attack, so... That'll help. Alright, so... We don't really have to worry about losing our, um... Human form, kind of, because... Uh, you know, we already used it for what we needed it. Like, uh, it was only for the, um, the invasion. But yeah, we'll pick up our stuff. Maybe we need, like, a more... Nah, never mind. I was gonna say maybe we need like a slash weapon or something. Just for the different moveset. Uh, but I, I think we'll be able to get his tail. But yeah, see, the summon signs aren't there anymore because we're not human. But we weren't gonna summon them anyway. Or I think, I think it might have been here, but you know what I'm saying. I didn't know the boss cutscene plays again. I don't think it always does that. I mean for every boss that has a cutscene. Maybe it's just for this one, I don't know. Or maybe it does do it every time. I thought that was pretty cool, so we watched it again, but, you know. Okay, we won't watch it the third time, don't worry about that. Um, oh my. See, I saw that- wait, why didn't it one hit kill us? I saw that coming, so I tried to roll out of it. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, we're good, we're good. Also, when he's moving, like his legs, um, it still does damage to you. Bruh. And also, um, oh sh- Oh, I dodged that one. Okay, we have to hit, I think, the end of the tail, that's why, like, I, I know it's easier to hit uh, like this part. Oh, okay. I like the music for this one. I wonder why, maybe the end of the tail actually, maybe where he hits you, uh, well, we'll find out now, yep, okay, I think that's what it is. So which part of his tail hits you, I think the term is the damage, that's why. Alright, great, he's gonna be stuck. Am I? Yeah, see, I'm not sure. You might have to be hit, like, uh, further along the tail, you know what I mean? Okay, he's tired, he's tired, help him. Yeah, I don't know. Or we might be hitting the right place, we're just not doing enough damage. Because, uh, you have to do a certain amount, I think. It's not just the amount of hits. Okay, nice. Oh, we got him! Okay, nice. Dragon King Great Axe, okay. Nice. Alright, now we can actually fight him. And I'm not sure, um... If this does extra damage, I think it does. But anyway, it's cool to see his head wake up. Oh no. Roll, 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 roll. See, his, his feet moving just to walk actually is like an attack or whatever it hurts us. Right, I'll see if this helps us out. 
I don't know. Oh yeah, we did like 500 before, right? So, oh shit. Oh look, he still does do the tail attack, but yeah, um, obviously he didn't hit us, because it's too short. Wait, what the hell? Oh, he's spitting, yeah, that um, corrodes your armor and stuff like that. It does like uh, durability damage. Alright, right, right this. Ah, bruh. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna try not to use the humanity, because so I want to save them. I'm trying to bait out his, uh, like, front attack, so we could hit his head. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Nice hitbox. Alright, we'll have to try that again, but I can definitely show you the weapon, at least we got that. And now, I don't know if it's going to be easier that I don't have to aim for his tail. Dragon King Great Axe. This axe, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by the tail of the Gaping Dragon, a distant, deformed descendant of the Everlasting Dragons. The axe is imbued with a mystical power to be released when held with both hands. So yeah, we ha there's no way we have the stats for that. Yeah, 50 strength, so. Alright, next time we will pop one humanity, because I think that would have won us to fight. At least uh, getting to him is pretty quick. Now that we got the large ember from here, we'll be able to, like, you know, upgrade our weapon even more. So we'll be dealing more damage. For now, we're just stuck at plus five. And obviously we can use a different weapon, but... I don't know. I've just invested in this one, so I'm using it. I mean, it looks like it does good poise damage. You know, as we've seen. Alright, let's look for the uh, pickup thing. It's over there. Right, wait, actually, let's be opportunists here. Ah, oh, come on. You know, if we had magic the buff on the whole time, um, we might have won the fight already. Oh look, we did less damage there. Is that maybe because I didn't hit his head? I don't I mean, we can also try Heavy Soul Arrow. We'll try that. Oh yeah, I wasn't hitting his head, that's fine. Oh no. Come on. Oh, whoa. That was a lot of damage. Come on. Alright, while we're here, let's try this. Oh no. Oh, it does pretty good damage to him. Is he weak to magic? Oh shit. Okay, so if we run out of Estus, that's what we'll do. We'll start using ranged attacks, but for now... 
Ah, oh, I wasted SS, I meant to use this. Okay, nice. Alright, so now, yeah, okay. That's all we have to do. Just trying to get as much damage in as possible. We got him! Nice. And we ended it with the jumping attack. That was pretty cool. So yeah, we got the Blight Town key. There's nothing else over here, I'll just show you. Oh, 20 magic? Nice. And a homeward bomb. 30,000, very nice. So I think usually we'll get 25,000 or something. I don't know. But we definitely got the bonus. So yeah, over here is just death. There's nothing here. But yeah, that's where he climbed out of. And there's no other way to go or anything like that in here. Like this is nothing. It's just uh, decoration. Pretty cool boss arena, I think. And yeah, so we got the Blight Town key. We could check that set we got. I'm not sure if this is a starting set, I don't know. So yeah, just some basic gear. Oh, I wasted an Estus, but we still have one left. Nice. Okay, uh, we also got the Blighttown key. Key to Blighttown from the depths of the Undead Berg, swallowed by the Gaping Dragon. As its name suggests, Blighttown is a place of great pestilence. Even the polluted inhabitants of the depths are aware of its dangers, and built this mighty door in hopes that they could remain safely separated. Alright, so yeah, that's where we're heading next. We'll just use the key here, uh, then we'll rest at the bonfire, then come back. Yeah, odd how the lighting changes sometimes, but I don't know. That's how it works in this game. Hi, Shemai. We meet again. Hmm. I okay. Well, that is a shame. Just wondering if he had any extra dialogue for, like, maybe after you beat the boss. While we're here, let's just repair everything. Other than that, let's just level up because, you know. I don't know, we do have more stuff to buy, but... The levels could always help us, I don't know. Because we might lose everything in Blight Town, so... Okay, so... What we're gonna do is basically do some of the beginning of Blight Town. Um, but, oh my. Wow, this guy almost just killed us. Also, wait, hold on, before we go, I think, um... I think that we can remove this. Yeah, see, okay, so now we can remove Havel's Ring and still be in the medium bracket. Because of all the, um... Um, all the endurance we got. So see, we're about 40. Oh, wait a sec. We're about 40 out of 70. Wait a sec. Oh, no. Yeah, that puts us in the heaviest bracket. No, never mind. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's rest again. I don't know. Maybe we should remove some stuff. Hold on. Let's see. Maybe we'll do like... 
Oh, I just want to see if this is heavy. Eight. What's the elite knight? Oh, 4.5. Yeah, the boar is heavy. Okay, that's why. I mean, that's one of the reasons why, but... Um, maybe the gauntlets will this, be, will this be enough? 37. Hold on, 37. It'll be out of 71. Oh, let's take this off. No, that, that's not going to be enough. Let's do... Alright, yeah, yeah. So this will work. Can we put on anything a little better? Holy trousers. That doesn't look doesn't look too bad. Okay. Alright, we'll do that for now. So this is like the cleric um leggings. Bruh. Okay, so basically, okay, well, we're doing the same thing again, but, um, so basically we have another slot. I don't know, we're gonna need the rusted iron ring when we go down, but, maybe we'll use this? I don't know, we don't have, eh, boost poise, this is, re this is probably really good. If the, um, if the ring of the evil eye is not doing it for us, we'll put the poise ring on. Put the wolf ring on. So yeah, okay. What we're gonna do is... Also, before, what we did was... Remember we went to Blight Town before? Um, that was basically like the back entrance. This is kind of like the intended way. I think. Although you can go from the back even without the Master Key as we did. Oh, I think that guy sells the Master Key later, by the way. The, um, the Eye Shromai guy. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the intended route. And also, if you come up from here, like we went from the back entrance like we did before and continued through Blight Town, you could get here. But you can never open this, because even if you have the key, which I did on my first playthrough, um, I didn't open the door. So you can't open the door. Um, there's nothing on this level. The, you can't open the door from behind. Unfortunately, even if you have the key. So that kind of sucks. And yeah, so there'll be like these little torch things on each ladder so you can see them. See that? Let's see if we can hit this guy off. Ah, oh, man. Okay, we can't kick him. all tight. Alright, we missed, okay. 22, not good at all. Oh, I kicked him. Alright. Yeah, same enemy as before. Uh, nothing... Okay, yeah, so we could drop down and get that item, but... Oh, we'll go there. Uh, I think there's a ladder, so we'll just climb down. Uh, it's interesting that I just noticed that um, both entrances are guarded by these guys, but you don't see too many of them. No, that's actually not true. Never mind. I was gonna say you don't see too many of them throughout this level, but you kind of do. This is a different variant. You'll see. Alright, dung pie. So basically we could sell those later. Uh, we're not really going to use them. Oh, I should have two-handed this. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Alright, so yeah, that guy, I think these are called ghouls. Yeah, that's a grab attack they have. They drop um, a soul, like a hard soul. Some of them. And I don't think it's even just like one, like, you know what I mean? Like a one-time thing. 
Like for example, the, the gaping dragon, we cut his tail off and that's like a one-time thing. You can't get two of the same weapon, you know what I mean? The, the king, whatever it was, the king gr dragon uh, great short, great uh, axe, whatever it was. Um, if you cut his tail off, you'll, you won't get the weapon, you'll just cut his tail off. Um, but these guys, I think it's not like that. Uh, they can actually just drop the souls, which is pretty good, in my opinion. But they're the smaller ones. Like the smaller souls. Uh, I'll tell you the name if we get one. Oh no. Yo, MLG? Yo, MLG! <laughs> Alright, these are the advanced uh, meta strats. Okay, no backstab. But okay, so if you saw uh, somebody was shooting darts at, darts at us before, um, there's basically like, a, that's like a mini boss, um, sort of, because they don't respawn, but they inflict toxin, which is, uh, remember we were speaking about that, like, that's why we got the blooming, um, purple moss. Anyway, yeah, they inflict toxin pretty bad, but they do not respawn once you kill them, so. Um, a good strategy is basically, that I, which I like to do is, um, going from the other direction, because there's a lot of those guys at the other entrance of Blighton. It's a lot of the, oh no. There's a lot of the, um, dart shooting guys, and basically what I like to do is go down there, basically kill one or two, and once you get toxic, like just willy-nilly kill them, but once you get toxic, you could just warp out of there with the uh, homeward bone and rest. Or whatever and that'll heal it and then um just do this like rinse and repeat but you know that way you don't have to use any of the blooming purple mosses i've definitely done the other route, you know what I mean? Uh, more often, that's that's uh, the better one in my opinion. I like going that direction. You don't really. This is like kind of like an option. Oh, he fell off. Nice. All right, nice. We baited him. Um, like this is kind of optional. You, you'll never have to really go down this path. I guess that's true of the other entrance as well, but. Um, from that entrance, you just go like straight down, and then the boss of the area is right there, so you can kind of skip a lot of the area by go using that um, entrance. Um, but Blight Town, I kind of like Blight Town. A lot of people don't like it, but in the original uh, release of the game, when this first came out, because um, this is the remastered version, of course. Oh no, 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 no. Blight Town was like very laggy. Oh, bruh. Oh no, we're gonna lose everything. Ah, oh. Man, I should've just risked it and healed sooner. Damn. Alright, you know what? This Ring of the Evil Eye is not working out for us. We need poise. <sighs> Bruh. Another loss. That's why I leveled up before. Alright, let's see if we can do the same thing where we kind of get him to roll, to come, to go off like the... Aw oh, man, if we got the backstab, we could have definitely got him. Nah, he's gonna stay on the board, I think. We got him! Nice. I love doing that. So yeah, um... Oh, I wasn't looking, but I think... Nah, I think it said poison. I was looking, but... Um, I think it said poison, not toxic. But anyway, uh, these guys' weapons, they do inflict poison. By the way, I, you probably noticed, but... Um... See, this this would be good to have the flame equipped. Pyromancy flame. Oh, I love doing that because it's like you get two hits in one. I mean, that's what it is. But it's like double damage. I love that.
Oh, and the reason I'm using jumping attacks sometimes is um, not just for like their mobility, you know, but like I think they do more damage too. Also looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, and you don't want to get caught by that grab. I don't think it does too much damage, but... Oh no, 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 no. No toxic. See, we failed to kill that guy. Oh, a soul. He's, he, no, he's got a soul. Positive. Oh, it's a spear. And we got toxic for it. We got toxic for a spear. It's okay, we're not gonna heal it. Oh, you know what? I should have equipped, um... Alright, we're gonna use one. If we don't die first. Because I was gonna say, you know what? We're not gonna use the item, but we have to because even if we waited it out, I think it would out outlast our Estus, you know? So yeah, it's this little guy. And yeah, he gives us a purple moss comp, but that's not the one for toxic. That's just for regular poison. We'll just get this guy, then we'll go down and get the item. Nice pathfinding. He outplayed us. So yeah, I'm not sure if there's enemies here. Let's oh yeah, okay. Hey guys. Some people think, um, some people say, you know, the back step is broken in this game. Because you see how much I use it, but I don't know. I think the game is still challenging with the back step. I don't know, you can be backstabbed as well, I mean, but I know, this is AI. It's not uh, another player. Um, I don't know, in my opinion, it does not break the game, but I don't know. I definitely see the argument. Because, like, you could just deal massive damage, and also, you kind of stun the enemy as well, because they have to get up, too, so. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, you know what I mean? Are right, we using a lot of resources here? Um, but we should be good. I think we could actually jump to that, but... Oh, we're gonna push this guy off. This is the advanced strat, okay. Kicking, okay. Kicking's over. See, kicking breaks the game. There you go. That's the real, uh... That's the real meta. Okay. Oh, see, see how the lighting changes? Kinda weird, huh? Alright, wait. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe we should jump down, then we could climb back up. Because we definitely missed some items either way. Yeah, this moves. Just wanted to show you that. Um, you know what? That's just like a random dexterity weapon. It's just like a katana or something. So, we don't have to risk our lives for that. Is he kicking? Excellent. And you know, we're likely to die from that fall. Not from the fall, but for missing the jump, you know what I mean? So we'll stick with this route. We could always come back and do that. Take a look at this. You can kind of jump around here, where you kind of jump to other levels, but let's try to use the, uh, the ladders. Yeah, I saw those guys were coming. I want to put my back to them. 
Yep, the fire dogs. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, so there's a bonfire there. Ah, it's right here. Okay, nice. We'll, uh... You know what? Let's not rest. So we lit that. Let's not rest for a moment. Let's look around. So you're pretty cool looking. I think you could tell why, uh... You know, this was laggy in the original build of the game, right? It's a lot of stuff to render. Where are those dogs running to? Ah, this is where they were running to. Oh no. Bruh. Okay. You know what, we should have done we should have done the plunging attack. We might have been able to kill like all four of them. Oh, I don't think I think since we didn't rest, uh we're not gonna show up at that bonfire, you know what I mean? Oh, we might be all the way back in the depths. Yep. Okay. That's the risk and reward. That was pretty cool. I didn't know they actually land down there. But yeah, it's it's probably because of the animation I put in there. Whatever. Man, I really do love backstabbing. No! Stagger. Okay. Ah, man. Oh, I didn't have my shield up. I had the weapon up, that's why. I don't know, we kicked him. Okay. You know what? Let's see what we could do here. I'm gonna try to run past. Oh no. Alright, this wasn't a good idea. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. I meant to fall off. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we can do. We're almost there. Okay, I think we went this way. I think there are fire dogs here. Okay, and we're right here. This is the way to the bonfire, I believe. Oh no, maybe not. Bruh. Ah. Okay, we should not have done that. Ah, 
Alright, listen, so today we beat the Gaping Dragon, we saw a little more of Town. In the next episode, we're gonna continue, we're gonna go down, we're gonna make it to the base of Blighttown, do some more stuff, you know, whatever. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.